Searches for a past serial killer, a white supremacy group, and the definition of a cadaver. All just one part of today's testimony in the trial against Taylor Shabiznes. Well, authorities taking the stand today explaining what they found during and after the arrest of Shabiznes. The victim in the case, Shad Therian, was found dead in a home on Stony Brook Lane. Shabiznes faces three felony counts related to his death. With this first alert update, Brittany Schmidt takes us inside the investigation. We do want to warn you, some viewers may find this content difficult to hear. Hey. Body camera footage played in Brown County Court Tuesday. Is this blood? Does this look like blood to you? Shows the moment police see Taylor Shabiznes walk out of her apartment in Green Bay. Hi, Taylor. How's it going? And arrested by the Green Bay Police Department on a warrant. She appeared to be in shock or very surprised to see us. Um, uh, I equate it to a deer in the headlights kind of look or a child caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Officers transported Shabiznes to the police department for questioning and photographs as it appeared she had something on her hands. You got blood on your hands here. That substance later confirmed by the Wisconsin State Crime Lab to contain Shad Therian's DNA. An autopsy done by the medical examiner's office reveals his cause of death is strangulation. The ME says Therian was dead before anything else happened to his body. What kind of amount of time would be necessary in order to um, create this sort of disruption to a body. It is my medical opinion that this would be quite a few hours. We have decapitation, we have dismemberment, we have transection of the torso. Subsequently, internally, the body has been eviscerated. The defense questioned the manner of death, pointing to the toxicology results of drug use. From your analysis and assessment and examination of the um, of the body did you in any way um, opine or conclude that uh, drugs had anything to do with the death of Mr. Therian? It is my medical opinion that the drugs did not have anything to do with the death of Mr. Therian. However, the state argues the internet search history on Shabiznes' phone may offer some insight. Investigators found searches related to serial killer and cannibal Jeffrey Dahmer. And in reviewing those screenshots, were there also several mentions of Dahmer and Dahmer-related interest? Yes. Conjecture relevance. Overruled. Yes, there were. Shabiznes' defense attorney asked for a mistrial based on the state's plan to submit more evidence in relation to Dahmer. The judge denied the motion. Testimony will continue in the murder trial of Taylor Shabiznes. You may have seen this video circulating online of actions by Shabiznes before the jury was seated. The court was on the record as defense and prosecution took up an issue regarding mental health until the judge has been made aware of it.